Okay, so about five years ago, it was a theatre. Then James Anderson Brown took it over about four years ago, and it was a theatre and cinema. In the last year, we've been a full-time cinema, just showing films. Um, why did you choose to work at this cinema? So I came up with a concept for um, an Oasis tribute band with the Oasis documentary. I put that on here, worked really well, sold it out three or four times. Moved on to doing a few more events here. Then after those were successful, I became sort of joint programmer with James. And then about five months ago, I became a director, an owner, and kind of haven't looked back since really. Um, what does your cinema offer that differ from mainstream cinemas? So we try and choose our programming around films that aren't getting runs at mainstream cinemas. So we kind of look at what we think is really good and that deserves screen time that the mainstream cinemas with having to sell 500 seats probably wouldn't be able to do to, to justify putting it on so we can take it comfortably in a hundred screen cinema and, and feel like we do with the films justice. Um, what films do you have on the offer at the moment? So at the moment we've got Isle of Dogs and Journeyman on and we're also taking on Film Worker which is about Stanley Kubrick's right hand man uh, we've also got a really good documentary coming up, which is called Studio 54. And what is based the choice of the movies that are streamed in this cinema? So we try and choose movies... Uh, I've already answered that kind of before. Uh, okay, so we look at kind of doing more sort of fun things, basically. So we'll do a lot of marathons, like Harry Potter marathons, um, Lord of the Rings marathons, Twilight marathons. So we're kind of trying to appeal to a younger audience, but then we'll also look at the films that the big cinemas aren't taking that we can kind of take on here for a short run and, and anything sort of locally based. So we'd, we'd work a lot with the local film producers here um, and we put on a lot of film festivals and it's kind of the big cinemas don't really do anything like that. So we're kind of more community based cinema. So it's important to have community around cinema? It's really important to have community-based cinema. Flatpak, who run the Flatpak Festival, they did their 13 days here. Um, the programming was really diverse. Um, and then we, we offer the film, uh, the film Producers Forum here as well. So we have local filmmakers come down and they show all their films on one night. And it's kind of the community is what makes the cinema. We have 350 members here. And for a small 100 screen cinema, you know, we feel like we're doing the community a good job. Um, and finally, what does the ho future hold for your cinema? Hopefully we are going to be getting a second screen soon, which will be at the back of our first screen, which will allow us to take more new releases, but also offers sort of more diverse programming. Um, just keep doing what we're doing, which we think we're doing really well, which is offering a, a sort of diverse range of films that the mainstream cinemas won't take. Mm -hmm. Um, and my question is yeah. okay, so we can end it. Yeah. Um, are there any threats to independent cinemas, for example, unpopularity or a lack of funding? I think the main threat for us is obviously um, s film streaming um, and stuff like that, really. That's kind of where we're a little bit worried. But I think if we keep offering the sort of fun and diverse programming that we're doing, and not just always about film, you know taking talks and Q&As and stuff and sort of adding value to, to cinema, I think we'll be fine.